spot in the semi-finals. We just witnessed complexity, making short work of Big Clan to secure the seat. And there's only one more seat, two bums, Heroic and Vitality step into Overpass. And we get that pistol started. There are a lot of players looking to step up to the plate. I'm a big fan of RPK. I use his crosshair, the, the pillar of consistency for the French squad. Apex, the rather flamboyant in-game leader with a voice. And of course, partnered off with Shox, who is present in the server as well. We see P250s, a little bit of util and a whole lot of Kevlar for the French and a kit. Smoke for Nico, the only exception. A three-man, four-man stack into Connector. Masuta is not going to be expecting this. Oh my god, look how many- Hello? Oh god, overwhelmed. Traded evenly, it's actually not too bad, but the bomb is loose. And Shock's in a very nasty situation. He's actually forced to use his smoke just for recovery. And now from behind, they strike. Nico hits a crucial shot. He's getting whittled away out by Zywe, who eventually does get the kit loose. And Kadian's been thrown into a one versus two. Now, if he could just stop Shocks. I think you saw him there. I don't know where the door's closed. Yeah. Never mind, he didn't see him. No, no, no. But the shock, fact that Shocks is, is, is lingering here. All right. Well, Kadian, he has to make a bit of a gamble here. The bomb, they know where it was, and they know exactly where both of those players were coming from. So are they just cutting noise? If they swing that door open, kadian has got a good shot here. Well, he has to gamble, right? At the yeah, moment, he's in a decent rotation position. Nearly said Naturalish. Abadas is Deutsch. Here comes Kadian. He oh, is yes. going to have the door open. Oof. Oh, they back away. Okay. They really are indecisive. They have no idea. They've completely lost him. They're going the long way around. That. So the fact that they've gone the long way around, if it is a plant, he's able to pick up that kit in transition. Shox is going all the way back around. He might get a chance here. Yeah, this is, I mean, with 30 HP, all he'd have to do was hit the first bullet. And he has. Slows him down, hits the shot, converts, and now he's got a pretty damn good oh, idea. He saw the legs. Where's I was coming from? Monster, here's him. 18 seconds. Kadian readies himself. He has the Kevlar. Nine bullets. Jiggles out. And oh, oh, what a shot. Damn, just accelerates around the pillar. The off angle on the fake was smart. It meant Kadian didn't get that fight he was expecting. His crosshair placement redundant. And Zywu with the three kills in the pistol. You can see how this started. A great double. Just jiggling away. And no armor really did cost Nico. Finally, an attempt from Kadian. We have Vitality's first. That fake position, I liked it a lot. It meant Kadian didn't have that immediate process of where that defuse was going, or rather that plant was going down. Well, they've gotten into... Next, asking for a timeout, yeah, round one. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a technical issue right now that they're solving. It was a pause called at the end of that round, so let's wait and see how this one is resolved. We're back underway. So it's all sorted out, no dramas whatsoever, and underway we go. The guns are going to come out for Heroic. Look at this force by Scout on Kadian. Ooh, he had a chance. Deliver. Yeah, I don't know how many more peaks he's going to be given. It's, oh, I love it. The signature Apex Scout. Typically, previously, prior to the uh, year 2020, you rarely saw Apex on a scout, but with his new responsibilities has come a new weapon in his arsenal. He's certainly got an affinity Ooh. for it. Finds Kadian, doesn't hit the shot. A jump peak from Kadian, very ambitious, but the nade damage was worth it. A risk nets its reward. Look at all the info they've taken towards B as well. So pressure on Vitality here with a minute 15 left on the clock. They did that deep smoke. They took backyard control and now stalling out shocks in T spawn. So this one here will be a slow round. There's still a chance for them to pivot through connector. Masuda has that under his remit, but this stack on towards the A site from Heroic here, it could be deadly. RPK, one bullet to the belly, he's gonna fall. Yeah, and then Tessa swings out for another one D banger. Certainly set the stage for a potential, but going long does seem to be the right play. Such a heavy presence. Toilets. Vitality have got a good read on this. You to be careful with the sound cues here, Vitality. If they give away too much, the rotation and swing from Kadian might catch them in limbo. He's actually tucking Charging back in towards the site. A little walk step. The smoke flying through the sky will be the first cue. These B oh, players are far away. Already. Yeah, Kadian, he must have a look. And he's going to get more than he bargained for here. Long, long, he says. Double tag. Two. Oh, the collateral. Eventually he goes down, but they've been softened up. Tessus needs a shot. He's been forced off the line. And this gets really awkward for Heroic now. Tess is caught on his own, isolated, and just bar up and down with the heavy investment of an MP9 Kevlar. Probably just want to find a couple of jewels. That's Shocks lingering all the way by party. He's been sticking around there, and Stown's done well to win his. Oh, look how low. There's a couple of players right now in Vitality, but this is the unconfirmed damage. They're not going to be too certain on where that all came from and obviously a large chunk of it through Katie and that nade within the early stages the double tag on the scout if he lands one of those it could be a completely different looking round but Vitality they survive and they know how close that one got and oh shocks as well peppering on up Stown gets tags it looks like he will be able to hold on to this MP9 
It's uh, the best consolation you could get in a round like this. Scoreline 2-0, Vitality off to a steady start. Now, I'm going to keep track of these 1vx situations. Obviously, the pistol round was one of them. We want to see where we see swing round, if there's an eco victory, because in a game like this, if it delivers anything like the last time round, we'll come down to those smallest of margins. So the pistol round's on a knife's edge. The anti-eco handled well, and now Heroic will have to opt in with a save here. We might see a couple of pistol upgrades on the likes of bow up testers, actually going in for nades, bow up with a HE and a flash. I have a good plan for this. But when you look at a rematch like this, when the game was so close last time round, you wonder who's adjusted the most. Have you overthought the situation? Are you coming in as the winner, not adjusting anything, going with the same game plan? There's a lot of details in a matchup like this. And Nico tucked in towards Tree at long. Has a P250. And it's just Zaiwu right now. So he had a little bit of a look. Nobody home. And just a slow approach here. Oh, Nico's been spotted. spotted. A Mac 10 tree headshot doesn't really sound like something that's too attainable, but he has managed to take significant damage out of Nico. They want to bait him into this. <laughs> oh. It's a bulletproof tree. There you go. <laughs> Finally, they take him down. War of attrition lost for Nico. This stack over towards Long was to catch them on the angle when they were swinging wide, but nobody's peaked it just yet. They're actually staying very, very conservative here, Vitality. I like a bit of stown initiative. Here we go. Calls underpass clear. And I mean, there is a small window where Masuta turns around and stown climbs the ladder. But I imagine Masuta will be very militant about this considering his team's position. His responsibility is this put. Oh, just as he drops, stown advances. That's a gap, but so is this. So I will come in from behind the long play. Oh, that's, that's a lovely $1,200 injection into his cash flow. Whoa! Borup's got info and a nade might do a significant damage. Damn, Damn look at that. 150 damage inflicted for a $300 highly explosive grenade. Look at Zyber on the hunt. You know he's coming at some point, Borup. Down. That's a little bit of damage and he's managed to get away with his life. Borup is added to Zywu's kill count. Stown just evades the hunt. Doesn't want to be giving any more funds to that SMG. Heroic are an interesting team to watch because even with their low buys or even low weaponry, they always have a game plan. Like they'll get the most out of every situation. And I think the same can start being said for Vitality. Their game in the early stages when Apex took over as the in-game leader was very fast. It was, you know, very brawly, but now it's looking a lot more refined. They've mixed in a lot of slower plays. They're looking a lot more comfortable with each other in the server. Remember, Masuda was a rookie this year. And he's really coming to his own. They've had some big series in recent times, one of which was a game against Astralis where Masuda had a lot of impact. Probably one of the better games that I've seen him playing. And I think that's spurred on his confidence. As we take a look at this one, it was a slow, drawn-out round, but all in all, Vitality keep it clean. 3-0 for the start, and Zywu even farming a bit of extra cash for that AWP going forward. Looks like they're going to be operating with that scout, a couple of Galils. This is a bonus round for Vitality, going up against the buy of Heroic. Stan has opted to keep onto that MP9. Actually dropped an AWP for Kadian here, so a lot on the in-game leader who might be tested. Up to Molly. Oh, it's a deeper one, excuse me. Towards the playground, locks him here. You're getting the four-man B-Lane straight away from Heroic, so it is just Kadian on the A site, and as the quicker this is identified for Vitality, if they can punish this, they'll force Heroic to play more of the standard, the 3-2 split that you'd be expecting. They've been using a lot of long here. Clearly part of their game plan. Clearly under and utilized by Heroic in the opening couple of rounds here. Clearly denies him great usage of Masuta's utility. And he's actually sticking around. God, with it's going to be orb. heard. Yeah, yeah. Masuta's going to be working with a lot of info now. Flashed him off the line, but nothing learned. I'm, I'm worried for Kadian here. He's going to have to get out of Dodge. RPK's already pressuring from long. Nico caught. Kadian vulnerable. They are pincering. They are tightening this noose. There's players from my, both sides. Tessus only gets the one. Kadian needs to escape, but Shox is right there waiting. And things only get worse here for Heroic. This is looking very convincing from the Vitality setup. Stan would have to molly the bomb. It's all too late now. Borup. Found, traded, Stan. It's been the last man standing every single one of these rounds. You can see five to one. He has not gone down despite Vitality's wins. And he'll take over M4 and... Has a smoke here, there's a chance. Smoke kit, maybe. Can you give it a go? Die with the first challenge, oh. he wins the duel. 
by a Nat swing. 12 HP left on Saiwoo at the end of that battle. So they get a free AWP. They obviously get that M4, which is better than the Galils that they were working with. So it couldn't be going better for Vitality at this stage. And we did, within that little death segment, talk about the fact that there is uh, quite the lean towards the B site from Heroic within those early stages. Pressure applied on KD, and he can only watch one spot. If he's unable to slow them down over there towards playground, they can get over to long very quickly, and you can see how punishing that is. Between a rock and a hard place, there was two more riflers who rotated over, but this is one of the issues I think that Heroic might have. If they are unable to take a timeout early and identify where that problem is, assuming that Vitality continue to pressure it, they don't have a coach to point it out for them. So how long until they can solve this puzzle? Heroic down. Zero to four. This is one of their specialties, though. You it can is. see Cadian actually being able to buy back in with the AWP. And this was facilitated by Stamp in the previous. He would have to find a lot of impact here. By having Cadian posted on Monster, these two other B defenders can kind of help towards the connector. And that's where the fags are going to come because I Apex is on his way down. Borup jiggles with the nade. Cadian wants to peek it with the AWP, and that is a tag. He's going to be so mad about that because now they can just push away from there. The AWP was located. The suits are catching one to the heels, and now Apex paying just a small price for another frag. Double kill so far. Despite this being a heroic specialty, they are running out of options. It will be Cadian in the right place. Can he hit the right shots? It's Apex. Giggled. Great shot. And now already losing Tessus. It's the end of the round. It's the end of the road. Five for Vitality. Cool. They leave four standing as well. They've got 12 grand on Zywoo yeah. pre-buy. They have started this T-side so convincingly. And look how honest they've kept Heroic. Borup, zero. Nico, one. Tessus, one. These individuals just cannot seem to compete to start off overpass. Yeah, they're not giving them anything right now. This is great from Vitality. Oh, they're so hype, man. This is a big... Start if zero five out of heroic here, and they haven't been able to get their individuals with a couple of multi kills. It has to change now. It's five rifles. They've gone for a three man stack towards A early. They want to deal with this presence. Meanwhile, Vitality may be outplaying them here. They've got three towards B, the bomb with an indication towards the B side as well. The nukes come out. Three players will be identified. Yeah, but that's what, that's why I always think about the stack, Nate, is it's such another layer to your fakes you can throw. You throw three nades there, suddenly you're suggesting, okay, there's a lot of presence B, but as soon as they've done that, they just park shocks. And now you have to react under the assumption that there could be three about to pop short. You don't have that info. Vitality have sowed a very doubtful seed very early into this round. Nico cannot go down here without a kill. He's, at, oh, he's in so much trouble. <sighs> That's a nice combination of damage, isn't it? Masuta. Licked by the flames and then the nade down to 14, but he's once again kept alive. It was Cadian's leg shot from the orb in the previous. Lots of narrow misses for Heroic so far, and God, Borup's playing with fire. One random smoke shot would end him. Jeez, how is he dodging all that? Shocks yeah. has spammed that a couple of times now. Pressure on, 40 seconds remaining. It looks like this B finish will come through. Cadian looking for info. He's going to be heard, but negated by RPK's presence in Molotov. It's back to B, definitely RPK selling this fake. Yeah, he's doing his very best to sell it. And here comes this test on Monster. Down, has got one to find. Look at the jump from Shocks. Great angles. Can't finish off Masuta. That 14 HP is counting. Tessa looks like he was stuck. Cadian does manage to trade. RPK, it does go down. I'm fearful for Nico here. I think the element of surprise is present. No one's looking his way. He can get Masuta. He can even maybe find Apex. Caught sleeping. Oh. Great adjustment. That's Nico bringing Heroic's first round into the realm of reality and AK for his troubles as well. Looking for this Zywu AWP. Need to pick that up. Should be over towards Monster, I do believe. There it is. So Why don't you bounce your head off the tunnel pipe and hit that yeah. opening frag? Well, that's the thing. There's a real prevalence from Heroic to play that double monster setup, and it looks like Shox has booked that, right? The fact that he gets the opening here is great work. The trade is difficult. You know, you're looking at Stan even for the third there with low HP on Masuta. So Vitality are well aware of the tendencies of Heroic in this one. And I think the reason they were still looking towards A was Nico is that swingman that I talk about. Well, he was playing connector. There's Stan. Ooh. Communicating a lot there. Lots to say with his death, right? He's got that cam. He's seen the presence of the remaining members. Needs to get that information across as quickly as possible. But Heroic need another round. They need to start stringing some together consecutively because the bank for Vitality, it was built. Ooh. 
a different pace to this. And if they don't smoke on that molly, Zywu will try and exploit. They're boosted. Shocks pre-aims and executes. That is stunning work. Kadian denies it back into Heroic's remit then. Two frags found on either ends of the map. It was Zywu going for that aforementioned monster control, but Borup's dealt with it. And now a smoke flying through the sky. It's a perfect rebound and refreshes the monster lockout. Three members, the all three remaining Vitality members gather. And Borup loves this. He loves just playing by the close smoke. If it fades, that's a jewel I would be remiss to be giving away. I think he's realized the same. He can tuck in. They've still got three more smokes right now. So if they systematically use these, they're going to lock Vitality out of the round. But they're also currently operating with a lot of utility. There's another monster smoke. Vitality already pivoting towards Sandbag. Apex can set them up here. He's got some flashes to work with. Molly's as well for crowd control in the bomb site. Vitality aren't out of this one just yet. It's a 2-2 split. They have the number advantage onto this B bomb site. The Molly will be the signal. One spotted monster. That's info. And Nico does take one of the prong on shore. He's so flashed. It should be the end of Borov. He's trying to jump to evade the shots and it actually works. Masuta couldn't finish the job. It puts it all onto Apex who meets Cadian's AWP from heaven. So that's Heroic with two rounds on the CT side, starting to get the ball rolling, and they are in consecutive fashion, which causes a timeout. Plenty of cash, of course. We mentioned Zywu's closing in on max money at the start of their slew. That was a quick flick from Cadian, and he seals the deal before things get too awry. Lots of good stuff in that round. You can see they were ready for the boost. Shock's pre-aiming that. This is going to be an absolute tussle here. They are very aware of each other's tendencies. Heroic need to make sure that they're keeping two to three players alive. They don't want to be ending in all of these 1v1s because at that point, Vitality just can continue that pressure and break them. They're buying back in. So we'll have enough money for the AWP once more. GG.bet on the top of the screen there. Difficult to separate these. Cadian's lacking a little bit here as far as utility goes. They have kits to work with. Armor is nice. Another gun round, Heroic really having to battle up against it here. Okay. So they've gone with the four-man B lean again. Long was the solution earlier from Vitality, but now it just feels like they're settling more into one of these default scenarios. That's a lot of utility dumped onto B, and it causes a little bit of a CT flurry. They've used a lot as well. Check yeah. it out. They dumped smokes, dumping more now as they swing into long. Tess has been quiet. Zywu about to peek into him. Not an easy fight. By any stretch of the imagination, Tessus gets info and seems to get the hell out of dodge. So much info for Vitality here. They've taken bathrooms, they've taken long control, they've pressed them all the way back towards the sites, and now they can retool. In rotation, Heroic have moved around so much. Look at this. Check out the A bomb site right now. Oh. We have three on the site looking for information. If Vitality react really quickly, there's only one man on the B site, and that's Down. So many people addressing the long gap. Tessus begged for rotations, and now four. Dug into the wrong site. This is amazing. So much Stand, trouble. What can you do? They're ahead of it. Very much so. A nade. Oh, the flashes. He knows he's just going to have to use his bullets now. Doesn't want to give them the location. Holding the line. Shocks has won the duel. Save. No way. Are they really going to save? Bomber's not down. 40 seconds. A frag from Borup has maybe given them just enough space to maneuver. There's one smoke here. Apex has to launch that. Here it comes. That's heaven locked off. A grouping towards, oh my god, four members. Shocks, his nade is about to do so much damage. Oh, not quite, softens him up. Here he is, just the one. Now it's Masuta. Up on the site alongside RPK and Apex. Borup swinging in, they want to go for this. They need one now. Not getting given it, doubled up. It's a Cadian frag and a big one. Apex head has been found, there's only one more. Oh. It's a good fight, Masuta caught by Cadian, heroic. With a heroic attempt at the retake, do have enough time to scoop up any of the goodies. Cadian deserving that one. That's twice he's closed out the rounds with an important orb shot. 17 points of health to spare as well. There's some crazy mind games going on here. Heroic are one of those teams that search for a lot of information with the mid rounds. They stay very, very active and you could see it there again. They've been punished earlier towards A through that long position and they bolster that defense. The fact that they get away with this one, it might put some doubt in Vitality's mind, but they did everything right there. I guess one of the small mistakes was not getting that smoke down early enough before that opening kill came through. But that round, they played with the rotations of heroic perfectly a little bit unfortunate they're so into it they gotta be this is the fact that they build motivation the fact that Cadian goes yeah, yeah we're not happy with the yeah. rankings they're building their own reason to get fired yeah, up it's like you know michael jordan 
Cutting himself, someone's dead. Bay been bad mouthing him on the court. In practice, Sai Wu definitely got a bit of that mindset as they just walk into the site. Nico keeps it level. Nico, are you crazy? Peeking over the smoke has found a gap. RPK can't trade. The smoke is still up, and Nico so silently, so gracefully exits and re-smokes onto RPK's position, pushing on the flash and get them both down. A very quick reaction and a crucial one gives them that man advantage. And Shocks about to strap on his thinking cap. This is something Katie intends to do in these late round situations. Goes around the world, makes them doubt whether or not they remember exactly where it was or where he's coming from, and they need to plug this hole at some point. So shocks all the way around now. When does he walk? That's a real like a, a shocks. Down my oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he was a bit too late on the walk there. They know they have the bomb still. That's a question right now for heroic. <laughs> You'd assume so, right? Katie's position perhaps not. Indicative of that. And Ooh, did he see the head? Yeah, he did. And he's just positioned himself for the quick scope. <gasps> Shocks could still win this duel. A tag. Switching to the pistol. Caden's not playing any games here. The nade looks promising. It's not quite right, but the smoke is enough to guise his retreat. 18 HP. Shocks still miles away from the bomb. Caden's not ready for this, though. And he's isolated into a 1v1. Shocks looking for something. He's going for it. 19 seconds. The bomb is miles away. Okay. And he's not going to be able to get it in time. <laughs> Looks like he wanted to have a crack there, but they said save the AWP. <laughs> That's kind of around where if you if you got onto the sites down, could just hide. There wouldn't have been enough time to grab that bomb and be able to get the plant down. So many angles to check, so many angles to clear, and Stown knows exactly where he's coming from. So a good save of the AWP to give that to Zaiwu. They're still able to get a buy. Vitality will stay threatening here. They haven't been forced down to these pistols just yet. And that's the issue. You're having to convert round after round as heroic against gun rounds. And at this juncture, well, we've had already three 1vx situations. So the money under question. Look at the buy. You can see Barup's already down to an MP9. They prioritize the alt for Kadian again, dropping guns across to make this one work. It's not going to be easy. Tessus and Nico are scratching their heads. Do we go Famuses? Do we go UMPs? Oh, do we have an aggro move that we can pull out? Well, Vitality have given them an extra 30 seconds to think and talk that one through. Nico's just going to go straight in with the head armor M4, so no utility for him to operate with. Stown literally has one flash. Tessus, a smoke and a flash. They're operating with bare minimum right here. Kadian can still invest in some nade sets. There's a kid as well. Galil's for Vitality. AWP for Zywoo that was saved, and we're still under the pump here. The pressure is on. Just one round is all they need to break the economy. Wow, look how aggressive these maneuvers are from Kadian, Nico, Stown, all bringing some CT aggression. In the absence of utility, you have to use what you've got. In this instance, it is going to be weapons. Down in the off angle, oh, no. he can't afford to lose that. Look at his health. Fortunately, finding Masuta, but a very chaotic duel puts Down on notice. RPK, this time unwilling to check long. He, does, he knows there's a risk attached to it. Yeah, if Stown's there, something's up. It's not the standard CT defense that they're looking at. So just talking it through, working out the next move. Death is around that corner, RPK, and uh -huh. I think he knows. Tessus has a chance for an info play right now. So Stown's presence towards connector means that B may be a little bit weaker, and it was, but they're rotating over now. Stown's even got the AWP on that site. This is huge info, and it's reliable info. Swapping the AWP into Stown's hands also gives him a bit more of a punch. He's not irrelevant now. He can take his shot, still have lethality, still be able to tuck into cover. For They're all. clamped in now. They cannot rotate away anymore. They have to fight B Vitality. There's no way out. Every exit locked. Zywoo, Shadow, Barrel. Oh, but still hits the shot. An RPK too. Oh, Kadian's so flash, so blind. It looks good. Looks really good. Tessus opting for the Galil. Nico through Monster Tunnel does catch Apex, and it's before Tessus. Gets any damage inflicted. A 2v2. Zaiwu and RPK. Quite the pairing. It's Nico and Tessus to try and rock the boat, cause some stress, and that smoke is a perfect way to do just that. No kit, though. It's one on site. Tessus trying to cross. He can't do it. Great crossfire established. Everyone hits their shots. RPK and Zaiwu with a bit of an ace between the two of them. Yeah, that was a great round right there. You could see the utility usage. The fact that Kadian was so blind. They knew the attack was coming. They knew that that hit onto the B bomb site had to be imminent. And it was. And this is the start of the round. You can see Stout struggling with that jumper. RPK and Zaiwu combining for those two frags off the back of the Apex flashes is just some big play and then locking them out. They identify both were on the flank. That's why you see them pushing towards CT. RPK getting to play the B bombs as a T, exactly as he will in this second half. 
Very familiar with those type of jewels and now Heroic with their money broken, they have to discuss the options. It's 1900 as the loss bonus in the next, but we're getting towards the tail end of the first half here. If they go for the force buy and lose this one, oof. Vitality could be running away with eight, maybe nine in this half. Boros board in. Could just opt for that scout as well for Kadian, but he can't fully invest right here. We'll want to save a little bit of money so he can get that AWP in two rounds time. Oh, now he's gone all in. All right. Heavy investment from Heroic here. Would have been the double eco anyway, but around like this. Oof. Look at the turning point for Heroic here in this first half. They'd have to pull off a mad one. Over towards B, a clear indication early. RPK taking control. Or up through the, the smoke. Hell? Oh, wow. Just was not anticipating such a quick presence. They're already locked out of this. As soon as this bomb goes down on B, Heroic should save everything they have to have another crack at it next round because it will be that eco, but they're hightailing it over there. They want to try and contest. Look at all the utility left over on Vitality. They've already walked through. Shox is already clearing the site, and now they can just start throwing those mollies. About to get a rude shock, Tessus. This is a nasty reawakening. And Shox has already taken the entry. They're locking them out. All of that Deagle armor now squandered. It's just Nico and Cadian. That pace from Vitality really worked in their favor there. The fact they get a chance at those two free kills onto Stown and Tessus entering the site unawares, cut noise, let Shox go in, have the search party, the flashlight out leading the way. Coast is clear, boys. That actually caused Heroic to make a bit of a misplay. Otherwise, I'm sure they would have been holding onto those upgraded pistols, and now it's just Nico and Cadian to do exactly that. Doesn't look like they'll be contested. Vitality doing a very good job of not allowing these players to get any free kills and start warming into the game. Very conservative stuff. Round number seven. Seven to four for Vitality here. T side, it really is. One of the very best at it and justified by seeing three names in the double digits for the French. Just individuals. Zaiwu is uh, on that list at the top of it, in fact. 13. Just needs to die twice now for that 1337 scoreline. But uh, double digits for three of them. Shocks and RPK as well. All of which chasing that 100 average damage per round. Shox is 5-0 and in terms of opening duels so far. I think there's only been one opening kill in favor of Heroic here, and that was that Stown frag previously in Connector, so they've been operating at a man disadvantage. Back to regular programming, the B hits. This time it's the stack from Heroic. RPK knows he's coming. He's in the right spot, only gets the one. It's Apex who collects himself a nice double. $600, you get 900. Cadian, gone. Eight to four, all right. I think last time round when these two teams met on overpass, that was the grand final of DreamHack Open. It was nine, six halves on the T side. So we're half of the course at this stage unless Vitality continue to blow them out of the water here. We'll eventually getting back to the gun. So that force by, then into the eco. Now back onto the rifles. But once again, it's hamstrung, no kit. Lacking Molotovs on four of their players. Smokes are good. Rifles are up. No AWP for Cadian. And the four-man B-Lean again. This would be the perfect time for Vitality to go for that A-long punish. No AWP to contest. That means that they'll get run down very, very quickly. That is unless Stown and Borrow would decide to push shocks. Oh, perfect. The flashbang sets them up for success. And now they have to accelerate. Given the information Stown's working with, they just have to try and punish what, re what remains on A. And while Tessus, how much support can you give Cadian? A smoke. The advance up. Look at the pace change. Tessa's going get, to get caught off guard here. So grouped. Cadian unscouted. Nico spotted a miss from Zywu. The spray from Cadian is something. He only takes... Actually, he didn't take anyone. It was Nico from behind. And now a half health. The smoke indicates where he is. A free fire will do. Oh, melted. Look at Burr up. Mollied out of position. He's dead. Uh, I think he's got more. Not quite enough to make the round winnable. Stown's the one that will have to convince us. Bomb can be planted safe. Exactly what they're doing. Low enough for Stown to have a real shot at this. That's the first peak. Huge. It's the frag from RPK. 4K. 4K from him. And that was the pace change. I mean, you talked about it. You can see Heroic getting pulled around this map now. That This is conditioning. This is... A team who have worked incredibly hard to make overpass their map, and you are seeing it manifest here.
with nine T rounds. Heroic, a hardworking squad in the, by their own right, but just getting outplayed, outmaneuvered. And this should be 10 for Vitality here. The buy again for Heroic. It's in question. P250's nays. That is the best they have to rock right now. Feels like I've been seeing scouts, P250's Deagle armors. There's been a lot of them. They've just been kept under the thumb by Vitality. It's a bit of Fountain's aggression. Zywoo seems to have been able to handle that without too much of a sweat on his brow. Oh, they really want to push it. Oh, it's the freest frags RPK's had. 17 kills now. Look at him running away with this. And Tessa as well on the other end of the spectrum. Only three for him. Yeah, I mean, this is a different kettle of fish. This is a very coordinated vitality. Shox has been doing this for over oof, 10 years. I'll take that. Thank you very much. 10 to four. One final round. Will we see the 11th? They should have everything they desire, at least not in the utility department, but in terms of weaponry, we see Caden has to make a couple of sacrifices, but this is the best look we've had in a while. Heroic and damage control mode here. They desperately need this fifth round. And then they definitely need the pistol in the second half. Nuke is coming up. That is the map choice of Heroic. And that was another game which previously went to overtime between these teams. But Heroic have only beaten Vitality in grand finals this year. And this is not a grand final. <laughs> Chad with the stats at 11. Well, you never know. Maybe it's uh, going to be a curse. Maybe it could yeah. go on. They get knocked out of tournaments by... Vitality when it's not the grand final. I mean, Vitality have been chasing this trophy all year long. I'm, I'm not surprised they've come in with a point to prove and have started incredibly convincingly. Tessus, quiet. Don't love his chances here. Spotted. Oh, what? Yeah. That jump. Couldn't even keep his crosshair on him. They just overwhelm. Caden on the hunt to deny. Zyru tucked into that corner. He knows it's the Orpah's nightmare. He can't see it on the jump peak. And Caden's taking a risk here, so I kind of like what he's gone for. The thing is, Heroic are going to doubt themselves. Are they doubling back to B again? If we go for this info play, do we get outplayed? Well, they are right now. Statues towards long. It's going to be the execute A. 35 seconds left. Caden taking a huge gamble. As they execute from long, he denies toilets. If he can kill Masuta, that's the toilet lurk. And now he's got that free roam to lock down the site. Nico, another important frag as RPK goes down, trying to barrel Watch into the coming. site now. Stands on Optimus. Cadian still using that toilet's position very well. A panicked flick. He's getting pressured. A wallbang will work. Shox has found him. But he's lost all of his teammates along the way and just does not have the time. A big final round pulled across the line. Heroic needed a fifth. Damage control found. Still 10 to 5. Vitality's turn to defend.
Vitality have proven that Overpass is most certainly their pick. They post 10 T rounds, Heroic scramble together five through some hectic CT defense in a couple of hero plays. We do seem to be going Vitality's way. Navira's hanging out. The sixth man going for a similar sixth man roster, but this time integrated into different maps. Mate, if I got to sit behind Zaiwu and watch him play, yeah. Well, that is what you're looking for. Some of the best player, well, the best player of 2019. You're going to sit behind him and watch firsthand. That is a great little insight right there. And maybe he'll be needed if this one goes the distance. As we get underway with the second half here, looks like a four man B lean in the early stages from Vitality. It will just be shocks over towards eight, up close and personal towards the bathrooms. Searching for info right now is Zywu. Big man to send up for the job here. Caden's got no util. So all of this long presence, it'll only be sound cues and uh, in presence of a single man. Ooh, okay. They've even opted off of the B site right now. So they're playing in sewer, playing a bit of a, a retake. They want to let them into more of a trap here. The Heaven Smoke missed. Looks like it has. Problems. Oh dear. RPK and Suta starting to take contact at the same time. The Glocks aren't connecting, but neither are the USPs. Saiwu changes my mind and takes out Nikos. Back and forth, bomb loose. Apex just the, peppering them from heaven, and that's the price you pay for a missed heaven smoke. Cadian, very late arrival. He was the one spotted long. Apex was the one to spot him, and well, with three frags, likely four as Cadian's walking straight into Apex's crosshair. A jiggle confirms that he's playing a very safe game. Apex is not interested in letting this one go any longer than it needs to. I haven't given him anything. Vitality are playing such a clean game of CS. There's no way. No. Absolutely no way. Sealed. Okay. Well, that smoke is literally the difference between a plant and getting obliterated with four members of Vitality standing unscathed. Apex is able to deny the bomb going down here. He continues to bloodlust forward, finds another, and then Pitcher Perfect is able to punish all the space that Stown had taken, and that is with one missed smoke. That's all it takes is just a missed smoke, and it falls apart here. It's going to be a bit frustrating for Heroica in this one because to bounce back without that plan, it means that they're forced by their working with very little. Deagle's going to scout and again. And all it takes is one frustrating death, compounding upon that, and you've got yourself a very quick first map. It's crazy how quick these games can, can seem to run away when you're in the server and you're playing because if you're dying early within rounds or you, you're losing these rounds quickly and having to save, it just runs away from you. It shocks. Oh, he's just caught the perfect timing, fortunately. Borob okay. was holding the smoke push and his two frags immediately going Heroic's way. That's a bit of a change up. Some risks this time not being translated into reward. They're going back to B. It's wide open. And the CTs do seem to be repositioning. Are they gamble stacking A? And they are. Yeah, they'll just save. So that's one way to, to win a round, I suppose. Yeah, so the bomb should be going down B any second. Straight in for Freya Heroic. Holding on to that Famous and M4, that is the best weapons that they went into the round with. So all in all, they're going to be very happy with this. It's only MP9s, which have been scavenged so far. That smoke towards heaven will signal exactly what they're dealing with. Tessus to get the bomb down, yet to frag in this second half. Play round number two. But it would be nice to see him getting activated. At this point, there's a couple of questions for Heroic. Do they want to hunt down these guns so they can work against a, a cheaper, easier round next? There's only 1,400 loss bonus for Vitality in the next round. They're just leaving one man. That's Tessus with the bomb and everybody else is combing out. The bomb now halfway ticked. There's about 25 seconds left within this round. Need to get a bit of a I move on here. I think there's a good chance that they will be spotted. Jumping for info long. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So... It'll hold W now. It's a bit of an idea. They're going to start to charge and throw nades at them. Nico's coming in from one side. RPK holding that. Oh, chance for Nico. Doesn't hit the shot. Oh, he's no. It's two, finally. Takes one away. And a little bit of damage. Nothing else. Vitality 11. Heroic 6. They find one. Thanks to the Deagles. Okay, so they took away the Famous. So now it's not as potent as it could have been for Vitality. Well, they will opt in again. That is the question. Seems that way. They have the 1,400 loss bonus, right? Next round will be the 1,900. Most teams will force buy at a juncture like this. And they'll do exactly that. Zywu has the M4. So the Danger Man with the best weapon going into round number 18. If there was ever a round to bounce back and have a big performance, whether it be this one. It's down. Easy as you oh. like. And they've set that boost up. They're trying to stop the punish. And he gets away. All of that hard work. 
think Kadian was watching Poison just before, going for a similar wall bang just there. B's been completely taken. All the information they could possibly require. And now, shoes on the other foot. Heroic did a good job of isolating Vitality on some of their rounds, but now they're closed in on. Needs good too. And finished off by Zywe. You said he had to have a round, Chad. Well, how's two? Tesla's finding his first frag of this T half. That gets the ball rolling back in the direction of a heroic recovery. Weapons aren't great. Masuta's flank is, though. Or up with the bomb. Oh, the timing could be catastrophic. If Masuta catches the timing, it's going to slow down this T side and it will be almost practically a save guaranteed. Have to run in and finish this off. Well, he's upgraded or downgraded. Either way, he's going to be a bit more mobile. When do they go for this? They're throwing in the util, starting to advance. Masuta's working on the flank and shock's going down early. It does give them room to plant. Can they plant safe? Masuta, not going to have time to punish that. Cadian's juking out with one. Good shooting, needs another. Tess is in the off angle, half health. Tess has to win this duel. He hears him. Oh, great shooting, Masuta. Some real impact. Frags Cadian, though, set up for success. Ooh, he catches some serious flack on the way through for the, the smoke, and they do. He's got two HP. There's almost nothing he can do about this. Masuta's going for a 10 second defuse, and it's fine. RPK keeps him babysat. Lovely fragging from Masuta there. It was all about his timing and his own intuition. And finding just as that bomb plants, just as they're trying to work out where the CTs are advancing from, it all started with a kill on Stown. Doesn't get to contribute into this round at all. Nico hunted, and then it was just a late, very late, well-timed flank. Even you notice how Masuta didn't peek that, and simply by not peeking Tessas on that plant pot, he got the sound cue to make that fight a whole lot easier. Yeah, Tessas had to try and either help the site player, and he needed to get past Masuta to do that. And if there was ever going to be a comeback from Heroic, that was the round they needed to win. Zaiwu. Great work from him. Ooh. Don't get to see this boost all too often. Once or twice a half. They've pulled it out. Looking to punish either Heaven or that uh, boost. We're not getting either out of Vitality here. So it's just going to be a large investment of resources. I can't believe he's staying As long, well yeah. as the Paranoia. Now you don't know. Could they be pushing Playground for info? How's Long looking? You kind of have to commit to the B side of the map. I'm not sure if Vitality would be ready for an AWP right now. Oh, did you walk it? Has he got his eyes still pressed to the scope? No sound cue? Yeah, okay, interesting. So Katie can actually scope his way all the way into the uh, B site and try and catch one of these peaks like that from Apex. That's his plan. Let's see how it works out. Masuta could be the one to walk in as well. Oh, the barrel, millimeters. Oh, the flash is so good. Oh, Masuta. Two rounds of impact in a row. RPK. Does well to find the one on the barrel. It's a very predictable position, but Tessus finds him keeping it in the realms of possibility. Not for much longer. Nico's just got no health. He's got three to find. One tap headshot would certainly make it slightly more realistic, but Zyro is on the prowl. Ouch! Ooh. All right, well, 13 to 6 now. Vitality, three rounds needed to net up map number one, take us to Nuke. It's looking very, very good, and Heroic haven't been able to come online so far. Tessus only with five kills. You've got Nobody really being able to step up for Heroic at this stage of the game, and that's because they're not given the opportunity. The very, very few mistakes from Vitality in this game, they're not getting overzealous with any of their peaks. They're not hunting them down. They're giving them nothing. And that has been a key storyline, especially within that first half. Glocks are out. That's all they're operating with here. This should be the 14th. Stranger things have happened, but with the way that Vitality are playing, it just doesn't seem likely. Up sandbags, they're going to trundle. Retake set up on B, perfect play here. The bomb might go down, but they're not going to give up any weapons to these Glocks. Yeah, you can see their movement. It's enough, not necessarily to win the round, but to get that bomb down just in the nick of time as well as the nades and bullets did arrive. And it's a flawless retake, if you, if you want to call it that. <laughs> I don't really want to. So we'll let you plant so we can kill you a little bit easier. Yeah, 14. Making a very strong case for this map and being one of the very best at it. Heroic kept so honest. This could be a 16-6. That's a thrashing. It's just the details at this stage. Vitality not making any mistakes. Heroic having a couple go against them, especially that smoke on pistol. It might haunt them. Shox might even continue to operate on this MP9. He's feeling so much confidence, allowing him to go a little bit more aggressive here. He's got the solo A defense job once again. Heroic, the AKs are out. No AWP for Katie in this time. 
And over towards B, they're going in. Oh, this on a gun round. You don't often see this. Look at that. One kill and they're away. And they can't even punish this. There's four on the site. Zaiwu has the orb. What are you going to do? Ooh, the flashes give Nico room. And Zaiwu does Zaiwu things. He's finally down. And just Kadian. This is just a lockout. Anything they throw at Vitality, they have an answer for it. This is great. I mean, yeah, it is. It's very convincing stuff. I wonder what this paints for the uh, the picture of the series, though. Nuke is next. It's Heroic's pick. Yeah, I, I think we're going to get a much closer game there. You would hope so. I would hope so, yeah. I mean, admittedly, uh, we haven't seen the signs of life from the individuals of Heroic to say it's a guarantee. And they have to start on that T side as well. So far, only operating with one round in this T half, and they might be kept at that. Back underway, the Mac 10s, the Scout, a couple of AKs there with Kevlar, not even head armor. So it's an even duel. Doesn't really matter what weapons the CTs are currently wielding right now as heroic. They are really scrambling. They're up a certain creek without a certain paddle. Might be a quick night here. Jiggled out. Something going in Borob's favor. I say that with as Saiwu just swings out wide to punish his walk. Really good stuff. Kept safe by shocks. In fact, set up for success as well. The shocks swaps with the uh, AWP up. Down has managed to find a pick on to B though. That was just through short and whoa, shocks, shocks! Caught off by Nico's moves. Great spray control on the Mac 10. Looking to extend it, looking to go another round. Zywo active. Pass this up long. Apex rotating to support. RPK will be given the responsibility of solo B. Heroic don't even know which way they're going yet. Nothing's working for them at the moment, so it's just, there's going to be a lot of questions, and this is where you need a player to step up, take the game by the balls. You've got backs against the wall right now. Tessus has no util, so his long luck will be just a flank. Yeah, this feels so dicey. It's been the three-man A stack again, so gambling of vitality. They did this previously, and they were more than happy just to save. But in a round like this, I feel like they should go for it. Yeah, well, Zaiwu has got more than he bargained for as he drives past long and gets that info. That's his tucks in. I'm yet to go down. There it is. All right. Well, at least they know that it's the other side. But are Vitality going to give this a crack? You want to keep this as expensive as possible. Take away as many guns. When the bomb going off, it's only 3,500 in the bank balance for Heroic. If you can kill a couple of their players, make sure they can't hold on to these AK-47s. You're going to weaken them, and the money is great for Vitality at this stage. This is some of the most reserved Counter-Strike I've seen them play. Yeah, and, I mean, the results are... Self-explanatory. It's working. Yeah. Every step of the way so far. It's like a really rigid vitality. You they look don't give you anything. You have a look at the opening jewels as well. There have only been three opening frags found in this entire game from Heroic. Wait, excuse me. Only three opening kills. Of 22 rounds of play. Yeah, the rest has just been one-way traffic. Three opening kills in 22 rounds. Heroic have lost one of the most integral components of a competitive game of Counter-Strike, at least here on Vitality's pick. Every player right now, this was a surprise. Yeah, every player right now for Vitality is positive in terms of opening jewels. Nobody's hemorrhaging. No one's. Everyone's contributed as well. It's it's some wild scenes. Zawu's on five. Shox is on five, and it makes sense. The scoreline. It, it, this is a beatdown. If you look I at how clean a, these are, quiet RPK thirty. He's closing in on it. Twenty six with one hundred and twenty ADR. One of the best teammates he's ever had. Says Shox. Does everything for the team. Doesn't ask for help. Doesn't ask for assistance. He's a role player. He's been doing it for years. Sniper kills nine with four purchases. I always been keeping that in his hands. Nine deaths indicative of that. Where have only been able to take him out nine times. Stark contrast to the 20 Borup and Tessas have collected. They've been having a bloody nightmare. Let's see. Does this have any more life in it for the Danes or do we start the conversation? of Nuke. I love how in transition all this is. Look at this. Apex with a real chance. Boosted up. Good damage done. He's just harassing them. Whittle Kadian down to half HP. Down as well. 77. So I was parked up on Monster. If that smoke fades, they would be vulnerable to his swing. Taking a glance. Taking a gander. Nobody home. Sounds jumped over the orb scope as well. 
So he has the element of surprise parked on Monster. B stack this time from the CTs. The suit is floating to support Shox, who's gone for a very forward position. There is no one a mile in support of him. That looks like a very deep smoke to the very mouth of the A walk-up. Look at that, using the sound cue as well to push off of. Shox needs info. He's going to relay this to his team any moment now. Fountain clear. Might even grab a kill. Oh, Cajun's not ready for this. What a flank. Two spotted. Trigger discipline. That's enough. He says two toilets. They can keep this B lean right now. He hasn't seen the bomb. Yeah. Might get them falling back. Yes. Both. Just lining up for him. And RPK is playing with See you later. Fire. Just stands and delivers in the smoke. Even grabs a fresh one to try and finish the job. I was missed his shot. Nearly gets punished for it. Borup's Galil not bad, but Vitality just better.